Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about some uh, tests for understanding the hemorrhagic disorders. And these tests are really very important for uh, diagnosing them easily. And uh, these tests are named bleeding time, clotting time, prothrombin time, partial thromboplastin time, and thrombin time. Though it is too much common, so, but uh, some of us uh, don't have a uh, proper understanding about it. Uh, so let's talk about it. Uh, First, we will talk about bleeding time and what is bleeding time? The bleeding time is the time that requires a skin puncture to stop bleeding, such as we uh, puncture, uh, such as we pu uh, puncture the skin of the ear lobule or the um, fingertip. Then uh, it normally it bleeds, but after a time there is formation, there are platelet, uh, platelet addition of platelet, and which activates and activates and after activation of the platelet there is formation of platelet plug by platelet aggregation so uh, by formation of platelet plug the bleeding stops so the main effect is the formation of platelet plug so if there is any deficiency of platelet or if there is any deficiency of information of the platelet plug then the bleeding time will be increased so the bleeding time will increase in thrombocytopenia in, do, do you know what is thrombocytopenia? Thrombocytopenia is a condition in which there is decreased number of platelets. So as the number of platelets is decreases and so there is less formation of the platelet plug and the bleeding time increases. And another time is clotting time. So what do you mean by clotting time? Clotting time is the time that requires the blood to uh, for formation of a clot and clot is formed by clotting factors and there are several clotting factors working behind it. And <clears throat> the clotting factors forms the clot in uh, by extrinsic patho or pathway or intrinsic pathway. And if there is any deficiency in formation of clot or if there is any deficiency of clotting factors, then the clotting time increases. So when the clotting time increases, uh, there are two conditions is very common to us: the hemophilia A and hemophilia B. In hemophilia A, there is deficiency of factor eight, and in hemophilia B which is known as Christmas hemophilia and hemophilia A is known as classic hemophilia. In hemophilia B, there is deficiency of factor 9. So, deficiency of factor number 8 and deficiency of factor number 9 causes the clotting time to be increased. And uh, we can further divide the clotting time uh, in prothrombin time and partial thromboplastin time. Why? Because we don't know about, um, we don't know which factors are deficient, uh, which factors is deficient for increasing the clotting time. So in this case, there is two times, one is prothrombin time and partial thromboplastin time. In prothrombin time, we take a test tube which contains blood and this uh, blood is mixed with sodium citrate. Why sodium citrate is given in the blood? Because the sodium citrate inactivates the calcium ion and the calcium ion is factor number 4 which is needed for the a clot to be formed. So in absence of calcium, uh, no clot is formed and then we centrifuge this blood and the, and we take the plasma in a separate test tube and in the uh, separate test tube we add tissue factor. And after adding of tissue factor along with calcium, extrinsic pathway starts. And do you uh, let's see what is extrinsic pathway? It is the extrinsic pathway. You can see that the tissue factor activates the factor seven, and that factor seven ultimately activates factor ten, and the factor ten ultimately causes the prothrombin to formation of thrombin, and the thrombin cleaves fibrinogen into fibrin, and all the thrombin also activates the factor thirteen, which stabilizes the fibrin clot. So, in uh, by uh, adding tissue factor, we activate this extrinsic pathway. So if we have any problem in extrinsic pathway, then the prothrombin time will increase. And uh, what factor will be absent there? Then, then the factor seven, factor ten, factor five can be absent in extrinsic pathway, and which will causes the prothrombin time to be increased. And uh, you know that uh, uh, factor seven, ten, and factor five need needed gamma carboxylation. And this gamma carboxylation is dependent on vitamin K. So if you have vitamin K deficiency, then the, your prothrombin time will increase. And again, warfarin, there is a therapy called warfarin therapy. And this warfarin causes 
sorry this uh, uh, this warfarin causes no karma carboxylation of these factor 7 10 and 5 so in warfarin therapy in vitamin k deficiency and in absence of those factors your prothrombin time will be increased and let's see about this uh, and let's see what is partial thromboplastin time in partial thromboplastin time we again uh, the procedure is the same that at first we take a test tube and add some blood then add some sodium citrate uh, then after the centrifuge after centrifuge the blood we take the plasma in another test tube and we add kaolin and cephalin and this kaolin and cephalin is an intrinsic pathway activator the kaolin uh, activates factor 12 and the cephalin uh, activates platelet phospholipid platelet phospholipid and this platelet uh, factor 12 and platelet phospholipid further activates the intrinsic pathway here is the intrinsic pathway and you can see that factor 12 ultimately activates factor 11 factor 11 then factor 9 then factor 9 and factor 8 both activates the factor 10 and ultimately the factor 10 uh, activates prothrombin to thrombin and this thrombin ultimately for, forms the fibrin and uh, platelet uh, clot is formed so if you have any deficiency of these factors uh, which activates the intrinsic pathway then your uh, partial thromoplastin time will be increased and your partial thromoplastin time will also il il increase in hemophilia A and B because hemophilia A and B there is deficiency of factor 8 and 9 and which is a part of uh, intrinsic pathway. The last topic is about thrombin time. And what is thrombin time? The thrombin time is the time by which we uh, measure the uh, function of the fibrinogen activity. In thrombin time, we take a test tube and add some sodium citrate and after adding sodium citrate, we add more amount of thrombin. And you know that thrombin, acti uh, thrombin cleaves fibrinogen, thrombin cleaves fibrinogen to fib fibrin. So, if the fibrin uh, the, if, the, if the amount of the fibrin is reasonable then fibrin uh, f forms a fiber or fibrin fiber is formed and clot is formed but if the fibrin uh, number is uh, deficient the amount of the fibrin is less then no fibrin fiber is formed or the less fibrin fiber is formed and the less clot is formed so the form the for, so the time formation of the clotting is increased if there is deficiency in fibrin so by thrombin time we actually uh, find uh, if there is any defect in the fibrin okay let's a quick recap and uh, what is bleeding time when when it is increased bleeding time is increased if platelet deficiency or in formation uh, uh, or an abnormality in any platelet clotting uh, clotting time increases when there is a deficiency of clotting factor prothrombin time increases when there is deficiency of cloning uh, factors that activates extrinsic pathway and partial thrombin time increases when there is deficiency of factors that activates intrinsic pathway and thrombin time increases when there is deficiency of fibrinogen okay here is a test for you in DIC that means disseminated intravascular coagulation in disseminated intravascular coagulation the both the platelet and clotting factors are absorbed so if platelet is absorbed so what time will increase yes bleeding time if clotting factors are absorbed so what time will increase clotting time as the clotting factors includes both the extrinsic and intrinsic pathway so prothrombin time and activated partial thromboplastin time will also increase and in the disseminated intervascular coagulation more as many clot occurs and uh, these clots are uh, needed fibrinogen to be formed so there will be deficiency of fibrinogen so as there is deficiency of fibrinogen in thrombin time will also increase and this fibrinogen will further be cleaved by plasminogen so you will get some fibrin degradation products you will get some fibrin degradation products so your fibrin degradation pro uh, product will be found which we will not uh, normally we will not found in any other cases and in another interesting case is von Willebrand disease in von Willebrand disease there is deficiency of von Willebrand factor do you know what is von Willebrand factor it's a sticky material which causes um, formation of uh, addition of platelet and as it is deficient so the addition of platelet will not occur and the platelet plug and uh, will not be formed so bleeding time will must be increased and von Willebrand factor is always combines with factor number eight so when there is deficiency of von Willebrand factor there will be deficiency of factor eight because von Willebrand factor is a carrier for factor 8 so your clotting time will increase 
your activated partial thrombin time will increase. But will your prothrombin time and thrombin time increase? No, because uh, there will uh, there is no involvement of another factors. So your prothrombin time will be normal, and will thrombin time will normal. Hope you will can diagnose any hemorrhagic disorders by uh, knowing these stuffs, and uh, you can diagnose uh, it uh, more easily. And uh, let us know about the comment section about it.